Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences of the University of Melbourne has the largest number of postgraduate enrolments in the University of Melbourne and also hosts the most school departments and centres of all University of Melbourne faculties, consisting of 52 faculty sub-organisations. In 2018, Melbourne Medical School was ranked 17th in the world and first in Australia in the 2018 QS subject rankings. Topic: History. The University of Melbourne's School of Medicine was founded in 1858 by Anthony Brownless, a graduate of the University of St Andrews School of Medicine. By federation in 1901, the school had become the Faculty of Medicine. When the Murray Committee reported in 1956 on the inadequacies of the nation's tertiary education sector, the mood to change medical education accelerated. The university was central to the revolution to medicalize society through the expansion of medical services. During the decades to follow, the university was the only tertiary institution to mentor the development of a number of medical institutions in Southeast Asia and here in Victoria, the Monash Medical School. In 1989 the university's Faculty of Dental Science amalgamated with medicine to become the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry and later expanded again to include physiotherapy, psychology and nursing. The university established Australia's first School of Population and Global Health in 2001 and then the School of Rural Health in 2002. As of 2016, the faculty also includes the School of Social Work having moved from the University of Melbourne Faculty of Arts as well as the Nossal Institute for Global Health. In line with the Melbourne curriculum formerly the Melbourne model, the faculty provides the Bachelor of Biomedicine, a three-year, full-time degree that offers 12 majors across biomedical disciplines. For the year of 2016 the University of Melbourne attracted more nationally competitive research funding than any other Australian university. In the year of 2010, medical and health sciences at the University of Melbourne achieved the maximum world rating 5 in the Excellence in Research for Australia report scale of 105 in the areas of, medical and health sciences, Medical Biochemistry and Metabolomics Cardiovascular Medicine and Hematology Clinical Sciences Dentistry Immunology Neurosciences Oncology and Carcinogenesis Ophthalmology and Optometry Pharmacology and Pharmaceutical Sciences Medical Physiology the Melbourne School of Psychological Sciences which forms part of the faculty is one of the oldest and largest departments of psychology in Australia with its first paper on psychology written in February 1888 and the Department of Psychology being founded in 1946. In 2011 the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences introduced the Doctor of Physiotherapy as Australia's first three-year entry to practice graduate level programme. The Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences is the University of Melbourne's largest faculty. Topic. Faculty structure. The Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences encompasses several schools directly beneath it. Within each school, there are also several departments, research centers, and institutes that are contained. Each department, research center, and institute can also contain several research unit sub-organizations which focus on specific research areas. An overview of the faculty schools and structure are as follows. 
Topic Melbourne Medical School Department of Clinical Pathology Department of Medicine and Radiology Department of Surgery Department of Psychiatry Department of Pediatrics Department of General Practice Department of Rural Health Department of Medical Education Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology Mobile Learning Unit Topic Melbourne Dental School Topic Melbourne School of Health Sciences Department of Audiology and Speech Pathology Department of Nursing Center for Psychiatric Nursing Department of Social Work Department of Physiotherapy Center for Health Exercise and Sports Medicine Department of Optometry and Vision Sciences Topic Melbourne School of Population and Global Health Centre for Epidemiology and Biostatistics Centre for Health Equity Centre for Health Policy Centre for Mental Health Nossal Institute for Global Health <laughs> Melbourne School of Psychological Sciences University Psychology Clinic Topic School of Biomedical Sciences Department of Anatomy and Neuroscience Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Department of Microbiology and Immunology Microbiological Diagnostic Unit Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics Department of Physiology Topic Faculty Institutes, Centres and Departments Health and Biomedical Informatics Centre Melbourne Posh Centre for Indigenous Health Melbourne Neuroscience Institute Doherty Institute Centre for Youth Mental Health Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research Wehi, Flory Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health Medical Bionics Department The Sir Peter McCallum Department of Oncology Peter McCallum Cancer Centre Burnett Institute Institute Murdoch Children's Research Institute Street. Vincent's Institute of Medical Research. Topic: Research. The University of Melbourne was ranked ninth in the world in clinical, preclinical, and health subjects by the 2018 QS World University Rankings. The faculty is highly active with over 1,400 researchers in eight broad research domains encompassing the breadth of medicine, dentistry and the health sciences. As of 2016, some examples of research outcomes from the University of Melbourne School of Medicine, Dentistry, and Health Sciences include the Stentrode a collaboration between the University of Melbourne, the Royal Melbourne Hospital and the Florey Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health, and prosthetic body parts that can simulate touch sensations to amputees. The Ultrasound Education Group is a research and education group within the Department of Surgery, founded by Alistair and Colin Royce in 2004, UEG's research topics are transthoracic echocardiogram, transesophageal echocardiography for cardiac surgery, clinical point-of-care diagnostic ultrasound for heart, vascular, lungs, abdomen, invasive procedures. Other areas of research include cardiothoracic surgery, cardiothoracic anesthesia, postoperative quality of recovery in surgery, and self directed learning with ultrasound simulators. UEG research outcomes include Patients in heart surgery have better probabilities of survival if arteries from their chest wall and arms are used to replumb their heart, instead of leg veins. By scrutinising 51,000 Australian patients, Melbourne researchers discovered the risk of dying prematurely was at least 22% higher if any leg vein was used in coronary bypass surgery. Cardiac surgery relies heavily on donated blood because of the high blood transfusion rates. But a major study of over 5,000 heart surgery patients has now shown that surgeons can safely use significantly less blood than they have been. 
The potential saving is equivalent to around one blood donation about 470 milliliters per moderate to high-risk patient. Criticisms <coughs> 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 In 2010 the faculty drew criticism from the Australian Medical Students Association over its decision to alter its course structure to allow full fee-paying domestic student places. The Bradley Report into Higher Education stated that participation by students from low socio-economic backgrounds in higher education in Australia needs to be increased. The federal government and universities have been working hard to achieve this aim, which AMSA strongly supports. So for one of Australia's leading universities to make an active decision to disadvantage students from low socioeconomic backgrounds is very disappointing and will undermine much the good work being done around the nation, said Ross Roberts Thompson, AMSA president. This alteration from labeling the course from undergraduate to postgraduate was seen as a way of avoiding the Australian government's ban on full fee paying places for undergraduate degrees, and as increasing potential barriers for applicants from low socioeconomic background from enrolling. Present and past faculty deans Below is a list of all Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Science deans from 1876 to present 1876 to 1886 – George Britton Halford 1886 to 1889 – Harry Brooks Allen 1890 to 1896 – George Britton Halford 1897 to 1924 Harry Brooks Allen 1925 to 1929 Richard James Arthur Berry 1929 to 1938 William Alexander Osborne 1939 to 1943 Peter McCallum 1944-1945 Robert Marshall Allen 1946–1947 Roy Douglas Wright 1947–1949 Peter McCallum 1950–1952 Roy Douglas Wright 1953–1971 Sidney Sunderland 1971–1977 Sidney Lance Townsend 1978–1985 David Jeffrey Pennington 1986–1995 Graham Bruce Ryan 1995–1997 Gordon James Aitken Clooney 1998–2003 Richard Graham Larkins 2003–2013 James Alexander Angus 2013 to 2015 Stephen Kevin Smith 2015 present Mark Hargreaves <laughs>